Myers McDougall, certified sommelier from the Court of Master Sommeliers, working in the brasserie every night. Come and see me. And I'm here with Gary Parker, the owner for the wine cellar and brasserie. And we have a wonderful Pinot Noir from... Uh, Litteri, 2008. Uh, Litteri Pinot Noir, this one's their Sonoma Coast. Uh, this has just been released from the winery. And uh, um, it's a, has a delicious uh, uh, fragrance and aromatics to it. And I think we should talk about Ted Lemon for a second or two. I agree. Um, he and his wife Heidi are, are lifelong wine people. You know, they didn't go someplace and come in and start making wine. They've been dedicated to making great wines all their lives. They're not going anywhere. This is what they want to do. And Ted had an interesting past. Yeah, that's what you were telling me. I mean, um, some of the best wines in the world are from Burgundy. And he did his formal training for the Pinot Noir there at uh, Domaine Dujac and, uh, and where else? Rumier. Uh, those are top names in Marie Saint Denis. The best. Yeah, so um, um, highly recommended. He uh, trained there and then he was actually the very first person, very first American to be hired as a vineyard manager and a winemaker. In and Burgundy, right? In Burgundy. Yeah, that's. So, uh, Intimidating? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I could not imagine that. So he knows what he's doing and he's been making wines now on the Sonoma Coast and uh, throughout Mendocino uh, for, for what, 20 years now, Bob? Just about. I think it was 91 or 2 when, uh, when they first uh, got down to Litteri, which means coast, by the way. It's okay. called coast. It's plural for coast. coast. And uh, they're right off this, this one comes from right off the Sonoma Coast. And they just finished uh, building their winery in March of 2008. 2008 is what we have here too, right? Yeah, so this is kind of like the winery kickoff, Yep, I suppose. Wouldn't that be something? Inaugural wine. Wouldn't that be something just to start from nothing and then all of a sudden you have a winery some 15, 20 years later? Oh my gosh. What a step, huh? That is huge. It is so difficult in the business too because there's so many producers out there. And um, But he knows what he's doing. You can smell. It's This is classic. Yeah, um, very, very, uh, very earthy. This is out of all the Pinot Noirs we've had so far today. Uh, this one speaks to the soil more than, than the other Pinot Noirs we've had. The other ones were variety correct and wonderful, uh, but this one I can almost taste uh, dark earth. Yeah, you know. And 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 I really like the way um, Ted Lemon makes his uh, Pinots because in the nose, in the palate, the structure, it, it all is comes together for a full package to me. This is just a blend of Sonoma Coast wines, but it's so well made. I I don't know if I call it. You know, it, it really tastes like it was from one vineyard. It really tastes like uh, put a lot of time and effort to it, which I know he did, but at the price, it, it's it's a great wine. Yeah, the price, by the way, is uh, $34 on a case buy. But boy, this, this really comes to you. Mm -hmm. You know, um, there's, a, there's a, a vivaciousness and a freshness to this thing that uh, um, I really, really find appealing. I like, I like this a lot. Yeah, a lot of, you know, Sonoma Coast has got a lot of wines out there now, and it's, 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 you need to find some good producers and some, somebody that we support and I think we're both on the same page where somebody that puts their life into wine and puts a product out there and it tastes like this that, that you know, for me being in the business, I, I love to see his wines out on tables and I, I love to see it sold. So, highly recommended from myself. I totally concur. This is somebody you want to see succeed uh, just because of their dedication and their, their, their single vision of, of producing great wines and, and this is really lovely. Cheers. Cheers.